you can have the best project portfolio on earth, but if no one sees it, all that time's wasted. So let's talk about how to market your project portfolio to hiring managers so that you end up landing a job. What you're used to doing is putting a link in your resume or your profile, and I'm guessing that's probably not getting you a whole lot of results because most times when you're applying for jobs, it's a time sink. You're stuck with a whole lot of other resumes, and the attention span that you get is limited. Let's change that. Hiring managers will typically go on LinkedIn as part of the hiring process. They might look at somebody's profile or multiple people's profiles. They're also looking for advice and help in the hiring process. All of that means LinkedIn is an excellent opportunity to get yourself in front of hiring managers. So you're going to have to start posting. It sounds like a lot of work, but it's not. I'm going to teach you something called repurposing content. And it's going to make it so that your posting will take maybe an hour or two every week. And you're going to find a, about six to eight weeks you're following will grow significantly and your reach, the number of hiring managers that see you every week, it's going to grow pretty significantly and it's going to happen quickly because there's a formula to this. The first post that you're going to do is going to be your ad for your portfolio. In a previous video, I talked about 18 aspects of excellent, excellent standout projects and each one of those aspects, finishing one of those is a great post. You've already done it. You've already put in the work. Now all you share is what it is that you did, that aspect that you completed to the project, and then a link to your project portfolio. These actually share very, very well because people are going through the same thing you are. If they're aspiring data scientists trying to break into the field or if they're early in their career, you talking about what it is that you're building, your project, that's huge. You're helping them. They're going to hit the like button and you're going to be seen a whole lot more. Your ad is going to get shared around. And it'll start happening pretty quickly. Now, the second type of post that you're going to share is going to be, what are you reading? What, what lessons are you learning from, say, blog posts or anything else that you're finding on the web? Share that and talk about why it was so great. Why was this one better than all of the other ones you've read about this particular topic? What did it teach you? Realize that your ability to curate high-quality content is something that other people will appreciate. And again, they'll engage with those posts. And those posts are really interesting because what you're learning is interesting to a hiring manager. It might even get a hiring manager's attention. So a few of those likes are going to help you significantly. So even though that's not a specific advertisement post to you, it's still going to help you get your name out there and still increase the reach of your other advertising posts. Now, sharing notes cheat sheets. If you're going through a boot camp or if you're in the middle of an academic program, sharing those is amazing. Those get a ton of likes. And again, you're sharing your knowledge. You're showing that you are knowledgeable in the data science field. You're creating a body of work. You're getting more followers. More people are going to try to connect with you. More people are going to follow you. And so now think about it. Your profile on LinkedIn is far more professional. It's far more credible. Number one, because you have this body of sharing that you've done for the last six to eight weeks. And number two, because you have all these followers. You can very quickly get hundreds, sometimes thousands of followers just by doing that three post a week formula and repurposing content that you're already doing. But like I said, make sure that you're sending out links to your portfolio at least once a week and focus them around those areas of this is what I've accomplished. Another huge thing to share is any accomplishments that you may have certification did you graduate from something it, any one of those are excellent opportunities to share an achievement those again get tons and tons of likes and obviously you want to get that sort of achievement in front of hiring managers the other thing is i ran into this problem and here's how i solved it whether it's a technical problem or a career problem Again, there's a lot of people in the same boat that you are. They're going to appreciate you helping them understand how to solve their problems. And a hiring manager, think about it. Now I'm looking at you as a problem solver. I see your problem solving posts and I understand that you're not somebody that just gives up. This is such a richer picture of you than a hiring manager is ever going to get in a resume. And all of these ads are just organically showing up in their feeds. And they're typically showing up in a feed for someone who's there because they're hiring. So the timing is important and the content is also important. Now, what happens once they click on your profile? You have to make yourself accessible. 
So there's some important things to put in your profile. Number one is how to connect with you. But even more importantly, what do you what do you want them to do? So I'm a hire manager. I'm on your profile. I'm reading it. Give me a clear call to action. Tell me I am looking for this role. Please hire me. And then make it easy to connect. Tell them, hey, DM me. Put your email in that profile. Make it very, very simple for me as a hiring manager to act on that impulse. I'm impressed. I've clicked on your profile. Make it easy for me now to contact you and start a conversation. It may seem like it's easy just because that connect button's up there, but not every hiring manager is going to hit that connect button. So give them another excuse. Give them another opportunity and a different way to reach out and ask them to do it. All that's important. And if you think about marketing, I mean, this is all stuff that we do in marketing. So bring some marketing practices into your job search. Now, another thing that you can do on LinkedIn is look at the people who have viewed your profile. You may not have successfully gotten them to click, but if you see that a hiring manager has viewed your profile, reach out to them. It's more likely that they're going to accept a connection request from you if they've already viewed their, your profile. They already have some familiarity with you. So they're more likely to, to click the accept on that connection invite. And when you create your message, the first one or two sentences in that connection invite message needs to be something about them. Don't make this all about you. They're more than likely to accept if you create a connection by speaking directly to them. And you can do that with things like, I mean, check out their profile. Did they share something? Maybe they did a talk. Maybe they published a post. Anything. You know, read it. Say, hey, I read this or I watched that. It was interesting. Thank you for sharing it. I'd like to connect with you. I'm looking for this job. That's the perfect flow. Talk about them. I'd like to connect. And here's why. Here's why I'm looking for a job. Don't be discreet about it. It's fine. You can call it out early. And it's actually very important that you do in many cases, because again, it's another advertisement for yourself. Every time someone likes one of your posts, every time someone comments on one of your posts, and this is again, why you don't just do those straight links to your project portfolio, why the other types of shares are important is because every single one of those likes, maybe one of those likes is from a hiring manager. Again, that's the same thing as them viewing your profile. If you send out a connection request after they've liked something that you've posted, you're more likely to get that connection and start a conversation with them. So that's LinkedIn. And doesn't sound that hard, is it? Repurposing content is amazingly effective. Now, what other social media sites can you use? Twitter's another great one. And the same formula works on Twitter as works on LinkedIn. You just have fewer characters. Content sharing, just curate a timeline. You're going to have to share a little bit more frequently. So rely more heavily on sharing other people's content and just do a one-liner on why it's important. Why was this applicable? Why should someone read this? One-liner, link, make sure you do the appropriate hashtags for data science, machine learning, analytics, whatever it is that you're sharing and keep your timeline going. Don't give up on this. You know, don't do LinkedIn for a week or two weeks and then give up on it. Don't do Twitter for a week or two weeks and then give up on it. Put in the time because you will start seeing results. Like I said, around four to six weeks, you'll start seeing it happen. And your professional body of work will be supported by your social presence. So put the work into it. Twitter's another great place to do that because, again, you can do an ad or two every week where you're sharing your portfolio link. You can make yourself accessible through your Twitter profile and through every one of your shares. Make it easy to get in touch with you. Now, finally, blog posts. Awesome. Do one or two blog posts per month. Make sure those are also prominent shares. And remember, you don't have to just share it once. You can share your blog posts from the month every week. Don't be afraid to repurpose, reshare. Don't be afraid to ask others to help you by sharing because a lot of people will and be sure to return the favor. Look for people who are posting jobs, like their job and reshare it. Look for people who are saying, I'm looking for work, like and reshare. Great way to get those people maybe to return the favor. And if you share someone's job, realize that's probably a hiring manager. Now you might be on that hiring manager's radar. So there's very creative ways that you can use social media to essentially market you and make sure you have those ads for your project portfolio embedded in as many posts as possible. 
that's going to be massive because think about it. Every time you do one of those posts, it's out there. It's going to be seen over and over and over again. As you grow your social network, you grow your own credibility. There's more to look at. There's a lot more substance to you now than just a canned profile. That's going to be huge because now I come to your profile, I see who you are, and I'm going to look at your project with a better expectation, a better opinion of you based on your profile and presence. All of those are huge. They're going to allow you to get in front of more hiring managers and you're not going to be stuck in the inbox. I mean, think about the process of applying for a job. You apply for a job, your resume is now sitting with dozens, sometimes hundreds of others. As a hiring manager, I have to go through all those resumes and I have to have the attention span to read through, find the link to your project, click on the link, and then evaluate your project, which is Think about it. That's a time sink. It's a time waste. Do time multipliers. Target hiring managers where they are when they're looking to hire people. And make sure that you are sort of isolated. Don't be in a pack with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other people. Do things like those shares, which are advertisements for yourself. Do those connection requests, which are advertisements for yourself. And they're one-on-one. -on -one. Now you're not one in thousands and thousands. So your chances of getting a response and getting in front of a hiring manager are significantly higher. Now you're also using your project portfolio essentially as a massive marketing tool, repurposing your content from what you're learning, from what you're building, from what you're reading to increase your reach. All of those tactics are going to make you so much more successful in your job search. And trust me, Six to eight weeks, you're going to see so many more results than you would just sending out resumes and applying for jobs.